Well, our old vacuum cleaner is broken, so it's time to get the replacement. Let's see what we get in the box. Welcome in by Rubinat. Remember to subscribe and turn the bell notifications on to get everything. Here is our vacuum pipe. Nothing fancy, just a regular pipe with a plastic vacuum gun at the end. This thing is interesting. I must say I do like the idea of having the narrow nozzle physically connected to the small vacuum brushes, as they won't get lost. You can disconnect them using this small lock button on side of the narrow nozzle. Aluminium telescopic pipe, good quality, equipped with a lock, works without any problems. A classic carpet slash tile brush with two wheels on it. Looks good, but we'll see how it works later. One copy of a user manual and warranty paperwork. A oh, very important thing to know, you have to register your Vax product online if you want to be covered by the warranty. This is the main condition in Vax warranty agreement. If you will not do it, your equipment will not be covered. Ok, let's get back to our review. The main body of the device seems to be made of good quality plastics. The waste cylinder is easily detachable from the undercarriage with a push of a button. This Vax vacuum cleaner provides 800 watts of power and was produced in PRC, that stands for People's Republic of China. This uh, Vax vacuum cleaner stands on three wheels, one analog, polydirectional and two orbital wheels. That are not the best idea as the wheels simply slide on slippery surface and do not rotate properly on carpets. Hopefully they will start to work after a while when the bearing system inside, whatever type it is, will wear off a bit. Well, it's time to have a look at the filters. The first is pre-engine filter installed in the dust cylinder. It is fully washable according to the manual. Wash it as often as you can. The second pre-engine filter is a simple hot sponge filter. From my experience it is fully washable as well. The third and fourth filter are nicely fitted into one of the orbital wheels. The third filter is a hard sponge, but I am not sure if it's washable. And the fourth one is a classic HEPA filter that you should not wash but change whenever there's need for it. The vacuum cleaner assembly process is extremely easy and you will have no problem with it. The hose to vacuum cleaner connector could have been made with a bit more precision though. The hose gun has a nice plastic band protector, good solution. The aluminium hose extension is really well made, no comments here. The vacuum cleaner comes with four different cleaning tips. Where narrow nozzle, small brush and furniture brush come in one piece with small click in lock. The standard floor brush has wheels and a hook for resting vertically on the main body of the vacuum cleaner. The dust cylinder is easy to open and has a small twist in cover for cleaning the center of the vortex filter of this very vacuum cleaner. The cylinder is made of good quality materials and the black cleaning cap is a great idea and provides good access to the interior of the red vortex filter. Pre-engine filter is easily accessible and it is fully washable so it should serve you long. Power cord of this device has auto rolling mechanism mechanism and insulation tape markings for the last couple of centimeters, so it should not be forced to come off by the user, well at least intentionally. On top of the device there are three push buttons, one to release the dust cylinder, the second one for rolling the power cable and the biggest one is an on and off switch. Well, it's time to power the device. The first experience I got is that it is quieter than the old vacuum cleaner I had. And surprisingly it provides similar if not greater sucking power even though it has only 800 watts. The floor brush due to its shape and rubber skirt in the back has such sucking power that my GF had to reduce the suction by using the bypass valve on top of the gun. Overall my bio not grade is 70 out of 100. For this price the device should get analog electronic power controller, a bit longer power cord and a bit more attention to detail, especially with the orbital wheels. I have to give you a small update on my old phone house vacuum cleaner. I got it up and running again. As I had opportunity to have a peek inside, I determined that the engine in it produced 1800 watts instead of promised 2200, but it was a good product. The cause of malfunction was that my GF pulled the power cord too hard, so it had to be refitted properly. We are going to use the new one as it is smaller, quieter and hopefully uses less electricity. Subscribe for more and turn the bell notifications on to get everything.